ladies and gentlemen, is our third bout over six rounds, two balls, two submissions, or one KO. I give you on my right, in the blue corner, the gentleman of the ring, Johnny Say. And on my left, another wrestler, whom it is my pleasure to introduce once more to you, Keith Martinelli of Warrington. talk and this should be a humdinger this lightweight contest or a catch weight actually but in the lighter class Take away, round one. Johnny Saint of Bagley South Manchester at Livingstone 2 the ex lightweight champion of Great Britain the tall boy in the light trunks and he's taking on Keith Martinelli of Bolton at 12 stone 8 in the middleweight class in the black trunks there back to us we haven't seen him for quite a time now, Martinelli, but it should develop into quite a bout, this one. Six five-minute rounds. One. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. You're on, I'm not still there, whatever Saint does, at the moment. And it's still there. A Saint in the light trunks. That brings him out of the trouble. See the trunks, of course, the tattoo marks on shoulder or upper arm and forearm of Johnny Saint will have identified. Yeah. He's taller, but he's giving away a stone and six pounds, almost a stone and a half here to Keith Martinelli, and of course, a lot of experience with it, although Saint has experienced Keith Martinelli is more so. of his punches and his escapes are really good. <laughs> Irish no. Ah. No. 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 
Oh. Less than a minute now in this first round of six. The best of three falls. So the first two falls scored by one man. It's the end of the bout. And that goes for submissions as well. Half, half a minute to go and ringside here we're all hoping that uh, there's not too much ground wrestling because we expect a lot of the fast action rope to rope stuff from these two <laughs> Martinelli not bad at spinning out either <laughs> and hardly worth starting much of a new move here right on the bell Keith Martinelli of Bolton at 12 stone 8. He had a, quite an amateur ex uh, experience before turning pro and he's had a few years of that too. He's been away from the uh, television screen for quite a time but I'm sure grapple fans from a few years ago will remember him on many occasions. Always fast, slick wrestler, and it's great to see him back. I hope we see more of him. And this fight with Johnny Saint should um, bring quite a lulu of a contest with any luck. Second away, second round. Round two, no score. Saint versus Martinelli. And that's what happened when you try and throw Saint. Lands back on his feet. Must be infuriating for any opponent. <laughs> Side head chance for Martinelli. Nicely, and he could hold him there. No, couldn't get out of the two chance for Still out. Time to reverse side headlock yeah. now, but finally out of it, he whips Martinelli then, and Martelli, Martinelli didn't go with it. And that really hurt his shoulder. Yeah. Up. He went with it that time. One, two, three. Yes. I felt that around. Martinelli decides a little bit of a breather, so he gets his man a figure four head scissors. Not closed yet. Feet should be. And if he can hold it there for a few seconds, he gets an extra breather. Typical Johnny Saint there. Oh yes, didn't happen. It's a double eight Nelson chance, but he didn't he didn't quite latch on there, Martinelli. But he's mad with himself now and not taking that opportunity. Anyway, the crowd like the move. Side headlock now to Saint. Couple minutes to go in this second round. Back hammer marching now. Dresses it with his foot. 
Another move of Saint Straight, get out, move. No. 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 Had to go eventually. Flying for bloody scissors to Martinelli. Saint can wind up with a Boston out of this. No. Even Saint forced to give up. He gets that power. So yeah. Maybe I'll have a try at a single, but he doesn't get the single busted on either. Half a minute left now. Martinelli's only got to hold out for about four seconds. Well, all the wrestlers, of course, have some ambition in the wrestling game, but Johnny Saints, the former lightweight champion of Great Britain, has three. One in this order to the European lightweight title now held by Bobby Ryan, who was surprisingly on television recently got it off Jimmy Brakes. The British title held still by Jimmy Brakes, and then, of course, the world title by Scotland's George Kidd of Dundee. That's what he wants to do in that order. Take away round three. Round three, four rounds to go, and no score. Two falls to the side. Again on his feet. There was the agility of Saints. No, he couldn't land on his feet that time, but he was really ready. In case Martinelli had followed up. Martinelli having the nerve to try a Boston crab. I wonder if he'll get away with it. He's got it almost there. But now, he's got to go further on. He's got to go further on. He's lost the chance. <laughs> if he get that left leg in the legs, but now Saints caught him in exactly the right moment. The counter gives up. And the applause from the crowd here at the City Hall, Sheffield first. Saints' ability to prevent that Boston crowd from actually landing on. Paul Nelson now, Saint. <laughs> oh, yes, John. But not for too long. Over the top with Martinelli and the double eight Nelson. The folding press now to Martinelli. Double eight Nelson to Martinelli. But ropes. I 
Nicely through. Gets the double leg, too. But uh, not quite as far as he wanted to. Enough to get the toe and ankle. And go to the far end. Face bar. Still got that uh, folded leg. Over his body. He's got just over 25 seconds to stand this. He doesn't. Johnny Saints realizes he's not going to get a submission from it, so releases. Five seconds. Keith Martinelli. Well, already we've seen, although he's got a weight advantage in this bout of one stone, six pounds, over Johnny Saint, the former lightweight champion, he's still pretty agile, isn't he, Martin? He really is showing that he can uh, keep up the, with the pace, although his uh, counters and escape moves are not so quick as Johnny Saint's naturally. Very few people's are, but doing pretty well, and I don't see why we shouldn't see a great deal more of him again on the box like we used to. Away. Round four. Round four, three to go. Still no score. Two falls to the side. Johnny Saint versus Keith Martinelli. Martinelli trying the double knee hold now. The double arm stretch now. Martinelli at the back with the black trunks. Oh, no. Take Very unusual to get Saint taking a bad landing. Let's see how bad it is. He might slow it down long. Oh, that's not going to help either. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. slowed Saint up for the moment. The whole Boston crowd can play it. Oh. Couldn't hold it. Tell you the second time. No, he still can't. Great point. Opposite arm lever not there, but the left knee over the, the uh, back of the neck there. Reminiscent of Zoltan Bostic, who does the three and one speciality submission move, and this could be a two from Saint. In fact, I'm quite sure Johnny Saint learnt it off Zoltan Bostic. Don't think I've ever seen any other lightweight do this except Bostic. Hungarian. But it didn't work this time. Cross press, no, too loose. Not enough weight, I should think. Run! <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, we've seen uh, Martinelli with the, the head scissors on on several occasions. Let's see how he gets out of it. He separates the knees with his own knees. Well, that's the attempt. No, the feet working on the feet, too. Both, both work anyway. But <laughs> Sane doesn't, doesn't really want him to leave just yet. He'll have to. He'll have to let him, I think. Reverse side headlock, Marshall. No, no, no. Much hold. Can he get the slam? No, he couldn't, because that headlock was still there. No. Trying it again, saying the gay slam didn't arrive because of the headlock. Still, uh, Martinelli persisting with that headlock enough to prevent the slam. Sam Mason with the referee right there. In case, in case Saint wants to submit for that. He could afford to, of course, being a 2 4 contest. Oh, what a whip. Beautiful whip box. But it worried Saints. Now that's worried Martinelli's left shoulder again. But it really held Saint well. One minute left. Strong ball. It's a little near the ropes, anyway. Far too loose. Thirty seconds. And Martinelli turn to release when he sees getting nowhere with a hold. Of course, that's the only way. The point in hanging about trying to sink him. It's not working. thrown off so easily. And I don't think they'll get together again too much in this round. Just five seconds. Yeah. Well, let's take another close-up look at Johnny Saint there over in the front corner. He's there, yes, Johnny Saint. Well, uh, I think the greatest thing we can probably say about Johnny Saint is that every other lightweight and a really experienced lightweight from the 60s have always believed that this boy was one of the greatest lightweights this country has ever known. Now this is why possibly he has the ambition and really believes he can go far as far as the titles are concerned. I think he can. I'm not sure about George Kidd of the, the world, but the other two, he's got a good chance. <coughs> Two rounds to go. As we start round five, two falls to decide the bout. No score. Johnny Saint versus Keith Martinelli of Bolton. And that's Saint in the lighter trunks. Back to canvas now. Martinelli trying everything he knows to weaken Saint's back and try and get him in that Boston crowd. He's attempted on three or four occasions so far. Martinelli has nearly a stone and a half weight advantage over this man. Try to go over the top, using Martinelli's laser step, step ladder. No effect. No. A double handed receiver, Martinelli, and he got it that time. Follow up check came well, body check came well. Can he do it again? Fine tackle, Saint, but is he heavy enough? And 
over the top through the slam. It's Martinelli down with a reverse double knee, and this could be it. It is. So, nearly a minute and a half into round five. The first one to Martinelli. This is Arthur Gale. In one minute and 20 seconds of round five, the first ball with a body slam to Keith Martinelli. the sporting goal uh, you can see whether Johnny Saints okay of course that back after that slam and the previous weakness hasn't helped him at all but he's got a few seconds only to go into the round six the final round so Martinelli in the back trunks coming in leading by one fall to nil over Saint now can Saint come back quickly a chance there in a Saint special Yes, he's got it well. That didn't take him too long to get the equaliser. It took Martinelli completely by surprise at the start of the final round. And so, a draw in the first few seconds of round six. In the sixth round, with a reverse wrestler's brace to show the press, same game, a very, very starting and quick equaliser. Well, thank you, Arthur Green. Yes, a great contest. A one fall each draw going for the whole distance. And was it worth it? I think. I hope you think at home that it was like we do at ringside. But that's goodbye from all of us at Sheffield. Have a good week. Till next week.